Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. In today's video, we'll be going through everything you need to know about Liquid Text for 2023. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Many of you have been asking for courses and tutorials. We now offer those on Paperless Humans. Subscribe now to start mastering your apps. Liquid Text is a PDF reader by Liquid Text Inc. It is available for iPadOS, macOS, and Windows. It has a complex pricing system on the iPad, which includes a Pro version for a one-time purchase of $39.99. Liquid Text is the only app we've encountered so far that has pricing for developing countries. This review focuses on the live unlimited version of the app on the iPad. Every new project in Liquid Text starts with importing documents, web pages, Or photos. Liquid Text converts Word documents, PowerPoints, and web pages to PDF before adding them to your projects. You can add as many resources as you need to your project. However, you can only view a maximum of three documents at a time. Your resources can be rearranged one above the other or side by side depending on your preferences. Most PDF readers, especially with note-taking apps, limit you to annotating the PDF itself. But Liquid Text gives you an infinite canvas for taking your notes right next to your resources. This makes Liquid Text an excellent research tool for the iPad. You can now customize your canvas to your preferences. The only problem is that you have to make the changes each time you create a new workspace. Your canvas can either be on the right or left side of your screen or below your resources. You can resize the screen portion of your canvas and also zoom in on it. In Liquid Text, you can annotate your PDF or take notes on the canvas using several tools. The annotation tool selects text in your PDF, so you can do the following. You can comment, highlight, tag, or extract notes to the notes canvas. The notes you extract to the canvas remain editable. You can therefore rewrite the notes if you like, or you can format your text. You can make it bold, underline, italic, or strike out. You can also change the font size and color from limited options now. On the notes canvas, the annotation tool creates text boxes with similar text editing features as the text you extract. Whether it's your extraction or text box, you can change their color. For a minimalist look, this can be subtle, affecting only the left edge of the text box. The pen tool in Liquid Text has an impressive, accurate representation of handwriting. It's one of the best handwriting experiences we've encountered on the iPad. Ideally, you can handwrite notes on the notes canvas. 
the pen tool has eight fixed sizes and a preset color palette. For a PDF reader, that is more than enough. The straight pen tool doesn't have a lot of shape drawing capabilities. You can only draw straight lines with it. But bearing in mind that this is a research tool, that is probably all you will need. The highlighter in liquid text is similar to what you get in simple PDF readers. It makes information stand out. However, the highlighter doesn't seem to serve any purpose. That is made worse because it looks terrible on the notes canvas. So you probably won't be using it much. Wherever there's a pen tool, you need an eraser. The one in liquid text has no customization options whatsoever, which makes it the simplest eraser we have encountered in any app so far. The lasso tool selects everything on the notes canvas. It is not very accurate though. It tends to skip items or pick up what you don't want it to. It is possible to avoid using the lasso tool for most of your work in the app. The notes canvas is infinite, so you can link ideas no matter how far apart they are. It is not ideal, but it's an acceptable workaround. The lasso tool also lets you edit multiple items at once if it manages to select them all. OCR in liquid text is limited to character recognition and interaction with scanned documents. We love the fact that you can edit your extractions even if they're from your scans. You can have multiple canvases in one project. Liquid text lists all your resources on the left side of the screen and your canvases on the right side. You can organize your workspaces however you like, even nesting them if you must. Your pen tool can also extract PDF sections as images. It also helps to create links between ideas, which helps keep everything connected. All the extractions you create in liquid text can link back to the exact place you took them from in your different resources. Though the app lacks bookmarks, you can use the pen tool to bookmark in quotes different sections of your notes. So this is basically just marking parts of your documents and then just linking them with your pen tool. It's a decent workaround. You can copy links for use in other apps. You can copy the link to an extraction, comment, and notes on the canvas. This takes your research outside liquid text, but it remains easy to refer back to them from anywhere on your iPad. That is simply fantastic. You can search through your resources or notes. You can either search the current resources or canvas or all the ones in your project. By simply pinching the document, you can bring all the results together and you won't have to scroll so much to go through them. On the canvas, comments, extractions, and text boxes with your search term pop out against a dark background. They are easy to spot, but not easy to navigate when you have a lot of notes on a massive canvas. Exporting notes out of liquid text is tedious. As a general rule, documents reviewed in liquid text best stay in liquid text. However, liquid text lets you export your extractions, comments, and highlights as a Word document. You can also send your annotations to the original PDF, which is a feature we have only seen in liquid text only so far. Liquid Text is a formidable research tool for the iPad, but
but it comes with a lot of issues that will annoy you almost every time you use the app. Syncing across devices has been the worst feature our developers have released so far. It doesn't work 99% of the time, yet that's mostly why they introduced a subscription for the app. Liquid Text still does not have a redo icon. When you undo something by mistake, you'll hate using the app. For that moment, that is. The app has no auto backup that you can control, which is another massive flaw. I love all the things I can do in Liquid Text, but I hate how the app frustrates me sometimes and that I am stuck with it because no app is quite like it. We hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you. Fantastic human for watching. See you in the next video.